everyone, so today I'm going to do a back to school or back to college makeup look for you. I asked you guys on Facebook what you kind of consider, um, you know, back to school or like school appropriate makeup and a lot of you said that you needed to be really quick, something that you can just get done in a couple minutes in the morning and it had to be like affordable because I totally agree when I was a student I definitely you know could not afford all the like really expensive luxury brands so this look is all about going to do a really really quick simple makeup that looks very natural and wearable all the products that I use are from the drugstore so this is like a really budget friendly um, makeup tutorial for you guys. It's just really natural, just a nice glowing finish on the face, like just some nice blush going. Um, a neutral, very natural lip, and then the makeup is actually only three products, so it's really, really simple. Also, I actually did get a new lighting setup for my videos. I completely changed like my setup here. So let me know what you think of the lighting. Is it too bright? Is it too dark? Like, is the is the light setting good? Because right now I have them on full blast, but I actually do have a dimmer. So if it's like too bright and it's washing out the colors, I can dim them down a bit. So let me know in the comments what you think. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So if you want to see how to get this very natural back to school look, then just keep on watching. So I used one of the Maybelline color tattoos to use as an eyeshadow base, and this is going to help the eyeshadow last all day and appear more vibrantly. You can use a finger, but I'm using a brush here just to spread it more evenly. Now for this I'm going to use one of the Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes and I'm going to use a really neutral, soft brown, almost like a bronzen eyeshadow. And just using a flat brush I'm going to apply that all across my lid and just patting that on so you get a good color payoff. Now you could definitely do a crease color, but I think, you know, just to be quick and easy, I'm just using really one color, and I'm just using that blending brush again just to blend everything out, and applying just a smidgen of that same eyeshadow onto my lower lash line. Now for eyelining, I use gel eyeliner, and this one actually comes with a brush, so that's really handy. I prefer gel eyeliner just because I feel like it lasts a lot longer than pencil liners. And I'm going to dab that really close to my lash line, just kind of smudging it right into my lashes. And I'm making a tiny little wing, nothing too dramatic or garish. So I'm just doing the eyeliner on the top and then after that I'm going to apply mascara and I'm going to do that on the top and on the bottom lashes. You could use a brown mascara if you want it to be a bit more toned down, but for me black is definitely more preferred. On my cheeks I wanted a really natural color so I'm using this Mousse Blush by L'Oreal and I'm going to use a brush to apply it but you can also use your fingers if you don't have a brush that's totally fine and I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it outwards. For the lips I would go for a really natural color and I'm using this kind of sheer lipstick and just applying that to my lips. You can finish up with gloss but I think just this is enough. And that's it. Really, really quick and simple makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. Let me know how you like it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful start back to school, if it's college or high school or whatever, and hope you guys have a really great successful year. And anyway, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter if you would like. Um, I have all the links below this video. You can go check it out there. And you'll also find all the products, again, listed on my blog. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.